Hello and welcome to Engage New York Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 3 Review Test with me, Mrs. Hefkoth. Go to my last video if you need help with number 1. This video is all about number 2. So number 2 says to identify each number as prime or composite, then list all of its factors. I like to list the factors first because that's going to tell me if the number is prime or composite. So there are some rules with factors. You need to list them from least to greatest, right? And don't repeat, right? And then do not repeat. And I think I can show you what those both mean as we go along. So our number is 2. Let's list all of its factors. What can we multiply to get to? Shockingly enough, one of the ones people often forget is 1 times 2, right? So its factors are 1 times 2. So these are the factors listed. This is the problem that gets it to you. Are there any other ways to multiply to get 2? There are not, right? So since there are exactly 2 factors, this number is prime. That's actually kind of special because 2 is the only even number that is prime because all of the other even numbers will be composite because they can be, uh, they have factors of 2. All right, let's look at 5. All right, I know that we can multiply 1 times 5 to get 5, right? Yeah, and so we write that out in the list, right, because it says to list all factors. So we list 1. 5, right? Good. Okay. And since that's, those are the only factors, this one is also prime. Alright. Let's do 18. So we have 1 times 18 makes 18. Now, I like to spread these out because I know there are going to be more since it's even. And the list of factors has to be in order from least to greatest. So I've started with my 1 and I've put my 18 at the end. Right? All right, another way I can make 18 would be 2, right? We just check number 2. Yeah, because it's even. So 2 times 9. So I put the 2 in line by the 1 and the 9 up here by the 18. And we check 3. Does 3 work? It sure does. If you know that the digital root of 18, right? 8 plus 1 equals 9. And I know 3 goes into 9. So 3 times something equals 18. Now you could skip count, right? 3, 6, 9, just like we do with the school's house, Schoolhouse Rocks video, right? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Oh, I don't need to go on because there's 18 right there, right? So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to write this over here to give myself more room. 3 times 6 equals 18. So that gives us the factors 3 and 6. Let's try 4. If I skip count by 4s, I do not get 18. 5. If I skip count by 5s, I definitely do not get 18. And 6, I already have. So that means I am done. Those are all of my factors. Since there's more than 2 uh, factors, Right? It's going to be composite. All right. And we've got another 28. So we do these same steps for 28. So we're going to have 1 and 28. And we check 2. That one's a little bit harder, but if you count by 2s until you get to 28, you'll notice you have to go 14 times, right? If you know your long division, you could also divide like this. Two times two goes into two once. One times two is two. Subtract, you get zero. Bring down the eight. Eight divided by two is four. Four times two is eight. Subtract, you get zero. So the answer is 14. Three does not go into 28 because if I finish my skip counting, 21, 24, 27, 30, I can see that 28 would fall between those. So 3 does not work. 
four works, right? We can do four and seven. Then we check five. Five does not go into 28. We can check six. Six does not go into 28, because that would be 24 and 30. Seven is right there. We already have it. So there's my list. I do have a big space there, so you have to check if your teacher is particular about that kind of space, but otherwise you're good to go. And then decide, is it prime or composite? It is composite. All right. I did not get an example that explains that do not repeat rule. So let's try one more. Let's pretend that they gave me the number 25, right? And then you do know 25 is prime or composite. And so I just start with 1 and 25. I know, you're like, what is she doing? 25 is odd, so it's probably like prime, like the, this one, right? Like 5 is odd, and so it's prime. Well, that is not always the case. So I'll check 2. 2 does not work. 3 does not work, right? Because we get 24 or 27, we just get count by 3. 4 does not work, but 5 does, right? Because 5 times 5 equals 25. And this is what I mean by don't repeat it. So your answer for the list of factors is actually just those three numbers. 1, 5, 25. You do not write the 5 twice. That's what I mean by do not repeat. Since we have more than two factors, this number is not prime. Erase that off my screen. What was I thinking? This number is composite. Right? Composite, because it has more than one. So prime, you might write something to help you, like 1, 2. And then composite, you can write something like 1, 5, 25 to show you more than two. Okay? All right, that's it for number two. Good luck.